Good morning, sunshines. It is Thursday, the 9th of May, and today I have a private lesson, so I'll be teaching that, and then Gabriel starts hockey tonight. He's been doing ice skating since the beginning of the year, but then they took two weeks off, and now he's going back to do hockey, so we have to get him a stick, a mask, and gloves before hockey practice. So that'll be after school, or maybe I'll pick something up in the afternoon. No, I'm going to take him with me so I can make sure that things fit. Oh, so yeah, that's all I have planned for today. So we'll see how it goes. So this morning I was thinking that maybe I would record my podcast because I haven't done that yet this week. But then my sister sent me a text asking if I was going to go to my niece's award ceremony. So, I just did that. And now, I am trying to decide if I want to go home because I'm supposed to be meeting someone in an hour and 10 minutes. It takes about 25 minutes to drive to their place. So I could go home for about 20 minutes and then have to leave. Or I could go sit in the library parking lot or stay in the school parking lot, I guess, for like... 40 minutes and then drive. I don't know. Tough decision. I think I'm going to opt for school parking lot for right now. And then we'll see if I get antsy. I just called home to tell my boyfriend that I wasn't going to be stopping in before I went to teach this class because I'd only be home for like 10 minutes. And he was like, well, come home for like 10 minutes because I'm picking up breakfast for us. So I guess I'm going to go home and eat some breakfast before I go and teach this one-on-one -on -one session to this lady, which is fine. I like breakfast. Just got home from teaching my class. No, rude. And she wants some of my food because I have my leftovers from breakfast right here and I will be eating them after I'm done talking to you. She knows better than to behave like this. This is not acceptable. I will kick you off of my bed if you continue to act ridiculous. Anyway, I just got back from class and it was a really great class. I really, really enjoy my student. I didn't take any footage because we do the, um, we, we do the lessons. It's a one-on-one -on -one. and we do the lessons at her house. So no footage, but I do have a check-in to show you. Look what I finished. This is the Orion Mesh Beanie by Kalisha Ryan, and it I will do much better things with it for um, the podcast and stuff. But yeah, I finished it so super fast. I started it yesterday and worked on it just a little bit. And oh, you want your, you want your ears scratched? Okay. Okay. Oh, that was the thing. Um, so yeah, it's super quick, super cute, a very, um, very nice pattern and I'm super excited to wear this all spring into summer oh my goodness you're being ridiculous she just melted she turned into a little puddle It's four o'clock and I am so ready for bed. And look at this female dog over here. Those are Patrick's pillows. He gave her a bath and she's not pleased. Get down, go lay down. That's hilarious. You say, please make it all better and you hate it. It was the worst. Oh, I love you too. 
I'm so tired. I just want to be done with today. But I'm not done with today because tonight is hockey and it's the first hockey lesson. He's been taking ice skating lessons in preparation for um, taking hockey lessons and then being on the hockey team. So this is his first night of it. And I need to, we need to go get equipment for him. And I should have taken care of it sooner. But the Play It Again Sports, which is where we're going to buy the equipment because buying stuff new is so expensive, especially if, what if he doesn't actually like hockey? So that is not super far away, but it's like an area I never go to. It's less than five miles north. But I almost never drive north. Northwest sometimes, but never just straight north. So it's just not a convenient place to stop. So now we have to go. And hockey starts in two hours. And we have to be there 15 minutes early. And I don't know how long it's going to take to find equipment. So we have to go soon. I just really don't want to. I want to be done. So... This whole kids having activities things, I don't want to do kids activities. I'm not that mom. I'm going to do the kids activities and I will be enthusiastic the whole time I am there because I am that mom, but I don't want to. I really just want to take a nap. I should just leave all of my knitting at home because what I really need to do at hockey practice is write some letters. I'm so behind. I'm not going to leave all of my knitting at home. I would die. I would. I would have a panic attack, but I'm only going to take one project. So I was a big baby for no reason. That was basically painless to go and get the helmet and gloves. They didn't have any straight sticks, and since we don't know if he's going to do hockey right or left-handed. We're going to pick him up a straight stick here at the ice rink. They have them. So I'm sure they will. And if not, I guess we'll get a left or a right stick and deal with that. But we're here super early, about an hour early. I don't mind being a little bit early going inside, but I know if I go in right now, it's just going to make me anxious. So... I'm going to wait in the car and he's going to find his ice skates, which I feel like are right down here, right, like I'm right. Hey everyone, so oh, my day just got super, super long at ice skating. Oh, it was my son's first hockey lesson, and there's three kids in his group for hockey, and I was already frustrated a couple minutes into their practice because one of the students was really, really, like, not paying attention and kept interrupting the instructor not the instructor's fault. I know the student and the student is just that type of kid. And then another student started acting up. So two of the three students are acting up. Again, not the instructor's fault. Like she was doing what she could, but there are kids on skates. There's only so much you can do. Well, about, I don't know, five minutes in, Maybe 10 minutes in, Gabriel, I didn't see Gabriel go off the ice. I was looking down, writing a letter. I watch pretty frequently the ice just to see how things are going so that I can talk to Gabriel about things after lessons, but he wasn't there. So I looked over to the end of the bleachers because I was sitting um, in the stands for the skate rink and he was waving me over. I'm like, what is wrong? He's like, my skates need to be sharpened. And I was like, 
okay, well, we can't sharpen them right now. You're in the middle of a lesson. And he was like, well, then I'm done. And I was like, you're not done. You need to get out on the ice and do your lesson. You're five minutes in to a 55 minute lesson. You don't get to be done. And I said that he could either skate on the skates that he was on and we would just sharpen them before the lesson next week, or he could rent a pair of skates from the skate rink. Well, he opted to storm off and so he didn't listen to me. So then he proceeded to act like he had no sense. Like he kept throwing himself down on the ice, not throwing himself. He kept purposely tripping himself so that his teacher thought it was an accident. But if he thinks that I don't know the difference between when he's actually falling and when he's pretending to fall, um, he doesn't realize that I've been watching him for his entire life. At one point, he sat down on the ice and crossed his, like, set crisscross applesauce and crossed his arms and wouldn't answer his coach. And I'm just like, I was about ready to go in there in my flats, walk out on the ice on my flats and snatch him off of the ice. I didn't. But... Who is this child? The like the teenageness is hitting super hard. It's very frustrating. So then we got out and not my proudest moment, but like the entire drive home, which is about five minutes, I just lectured him. I was like, not acceptable behavior. That's you can't do that. And how dare you ask me to do fun things all the time, and then when we do a fun thing, behave like that. Like, okay, I get it. It's frustrating. Your skate is dragging a little. But there were options. And instead of taking an option or just making the best of a situation that's not ideal, he threw away the whole lesson. He wasted his time, he wasted his teacher's time, and he wasted my time. <sighs> it was very frustrating. So then we came home, and there's only an hour between getting home from skating and bedtime. And so he spent like 45 minutes not talking to me. And then after 45 minutes, I was like, you need to eat dinner. It's almost bedtime. So then about 20 minutes after bedtime, he came down to my room and we had a discussion about his choices and things. And it was a really good talk, but it was just really frustrating. Momming is really, really crappy sometimes. Really crappy. And also, he said a thing that super breaks my heart. So, when he got home, I took away his tablet. He's grounded from his tablet for the weekend. Like, you can't behave that poorly and expect to have no consequences. So, I took it away, and then I left his room, or right before I left his room, I said, and when you're ready to apologize for behaving that way, you know where to find me. So, 20 minutes after bedtime, he comes downstairs and he says, I'm sorry for being such an idiot. Or, I'm sorry that I'm such an idiot. And, like, that hurts my heart because my kid is not an idiot. He's very, very smart. He just made a bad decision. Whenever one of my kids says something like that, you know, I think Mara's literally only called herself stupid one time. But Gabriel says it pretty frequently and that hurts me that he internalizes that sort of thought about himself because he's really really smart he's a really smart kid he has good common sense he just occasionally makes a bad decision just like everybody else 